Hello and in today's camper van chat I'm going to be talking about uh, plans which uh, I have but uh, this is a part of plans for a far greater celebration which will be happening on the 75th anniversary of the end of World War II and the liberation of Western Europe. There's a couple of trails uh, in Europe which I would very much like to follow. The first one's called the Iron Curtain Trail which stretches from the uh, Black uh, Sea to the Baltic Sea. It was an innovation of a member of the European Parliament and we can see certain places where the Iron Curtain fortifications were and I've actually filmed some of them uh, particularly on the Austrian-Slovakian border in the past. The second one, and which is what I'm going to be talking about today, is called the Liberation Route Europe. And uh, in 2019 and in 2020, it's going to be organising a campaign uh, called Europe Remembers 1944-1945. And I think this is particularly important given the resurgence of uh, fascism in various countries. So I think we ought to reflect on what our ancestors or our, our grandparents or parents did to defeat uh, the, uh, well, but in this case, Nazi Germany. Of course, um, this is, is something we also want to remember that in uh, Eastern Europe it just changed from the Nazis to the communists. Maybe the communists weren't quite as bad as the Nazis but uh, all the same they were not liberated. And that is part of the whole idea of the Europe Remembers 1944-1945 plan. It wants to raise public awareness and hopefully to, so that people will appreciate the freedoms that we have now got. It's been organised by the Liberation Route Europe Foundation, which is now 10 years old. Liberation Route Europe has sites to be seen in the United Kingdom, France, Belgium, Holland, Luxembourg, Germany and Poland. It's uh, places where major battles were fought, such as this film which uh, you've got now. These are sites in around the area of uh, where the Battle of Bulge was uh, Fort. I was staying then at La Roche en Ardennes, which was an excellent place to actually get round and see some of these sites. And uh, in uh, 2019 and 2020, there will be uh, events being held throughout uh, Europe, and I bet they'll have a big do on on the 6th of June 2019 to celebrate the 75th anniversary of D Day. It doesn't seem that long to me since they were celebrating the 40th anniversary of D-Day. That's something I hope I will be able to get involved in myself and see a few things. Uh, Europe Remembers is hoping to reach 25 million visitors across Europe and um, uh, other places where you can expect things to be uh, happening. Uh, for example, Arnhem in uh, Holland, the scene of bridge the bridge too far and many others i'm just using that as the uh, an example of a place where i think we will see a particularly large commemoration i shall keep you updated should you be interested and also of course on my site there's lots of information not only about camping and tourism and motorhome tourism but also about military history I've written quite extensively above all on the Second World War but also on other conflicts you can find for example on my site information on the First World War particularly on the Italian Alpine Front. Thank you.